I was just going to mention him, the fact that you said a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, that he'd stood out, he was a player that you liked. You'd only seen him on in a, in a competitive situation for about 20 minutes. Has he proved you right today? He's proved what I know about Danny. There's, uh, if I can get Danny doing a lot of his work in the final third, he's in a threat. What we need to do is get him out of that comfort zone of, uh, of just playing the game in the middle third, because you can get a lot of good technical players can play the game in the middle third, but... You don't win the games in the middle third. You win the games if you're a quality flair player. You win them in the final third. It's what we're trying to do. We're trying to work on Danny, the understanding of exploiting people in the final third. Because what fullbacks like you to do is like you have a touch and pass the ball back. What they don't want you to do is go at you. Um, when you've got someone who's got happy feet like he, like he's got, it's difficult to mark. You mentioned that you wanted to find somebody to partner Derek because you knew what he could do. Has Billy thrown his hat in the ring? Again, uh, today's probably might caught a few people by surprise, but sometimes you, you have a look at what Billy's strengths are, uh, and you have a look at also what his weaknesses are. Uh, people, people will, well, again, not being disrespectful, people will say that Billy you know, lacks a little bit in pace. Now, we knew he had pace around him, we had directness in, in the left-hand side uh, with Robbo, uh, with his movement and the ability to cross and take people on. The same with Danny Curran, being able to run with a ball that, was, that can scare defenders. But Derek Asamo that would stretch the team, uh, so give him space in behind. And we have people in midfield that can, can find him with a pass in Gary Dicker. And Carl Dempsey can go and join in and get past him. So that, for me, meant that Billy Payne can go out and play as a centre forward, uh, as a frontline player, uh, with people around him that allied his strengths. And, uh, and again, I thought Billy contributed very well. One, one is how he played his role as a centre forward and gave us a springboard. Just finally from me, Keith, I had to walk down the corridor to speak to somebody else. That's the quickest post-match team talk I've ever seen. What did you say? But, uh, well, before the game, uh, I, I gave a team talk and I said uh, the PFA have done a, um, a poll uh, and amongst players and they said 96% of what the manager says before the game has no bearing on the result. <laughs> so I just told them good luck. Then after the game, I told them that uh, uh, in another poll that they did, 100% of what the manager says after the game doesn't change the result. See you Monday. So, so, so kept it simple. Thank you. Okay, how, how